Well, moving on, Viacom 18 has backed a five-year deal from BCCI for digital and media rights to broadcast cricket matches. Viacom 18 will shell out just under 2,900 crore rupees for the TV rights and more than 3,100 crores for the digital rights. We'll put focus on uh, that right now. Abnish Roy, Executive Director at Novama Institutional Equities, joins us now to talk about that. Abnish, your thoughts on this and what this would mean for the listed entities? Yeah, thanks. Uh, we don't cover TV18, but yes, clearly uh, two, three things which are emerging from this is uh, Hotstar and Disney essentially are kind of consolidating their operations in the country. So first we saw that even in IPL, they bid only for the TV rights. And then uh, Viacom has now got both uh, the TV and digital rights for the BCCI. So how we see is uh, Earlier, uh, Disney Hotstar were completely dominating the cricket rights with almost uh, IPL, BCCI, ICC. Everything was there with them at one point of time. Now it seems the big daddy for cricket rights in India will be essentially Viacom TV18. Uh, because clearly, even in IPL, which is the most attractive uh, property currently out of the three, uh, IPL is the most important and then ICC and uh, BCCI will be below that. So digital rights are with Viacom. So Viacom will do well. Uh, the issues here will be on profitability because uh, the rights uh, are 13% more expensive than what Hotstar Disney had paid. Second is a uh, lot of freebies being given to the customer. So how do you convert the customer from a free customer to the essentially subscription, paid subscription? That will also uh, something we'll watch. But clearly we are seeing much more discipline in terms of the TV rights bidding, which is I think a good development. And even Sony is focusing more on the non-cricket, for example, now Asian games, etc., they'll be showing. So overall, the discipline seems to be coming, but still, I think the profitability, uh, Viacom 18 will have to look into that. Mm. Abnish, uh, when Disney uh, Hotstar had the rights, did they make money? Because as you said, I mean, for this, the, uh, the, the asking price is about 13% higher. So they are unlisted, but uh, when I see their approach towards the rights, for example, even in ICC, they have sub license some of the rights to Z, for example. Even in IPL, they did not bid for both. They were uh, less aggressive. And in the list latest uh, rights, which got uh, announced yesterday, their bidding was quite on the cautious side. And their statement also is that uh, it doesn't uh, make sense. So clearly, they are focusing on India more from a consolidation reducing losses in cricket. So I would expect that, yes, they would not have made money in, in a lot of these. But being unlisted, we don't have full numbers. Okay. Uh, since you're with us, Avni, just wanted your thoughts on, you know, this whole monsoon situation as well. We're seeing some of these consumption players uh, come under pressure, right? Tractor makers have reported weak numbers. The expectation is that even the two-wheeler guys that have an exposure uh, to the rural markets will be under pressure. From your coverage universe, are you expecting any, uh, you know, any pressure in the listed entities because of the yes, weakness clearly, in the monsoon? Yes, thanks. Uh, so clearly, this is a negative development. Uh, first two months, there was a 7% higher than the normal. And within one month from minus, plus 7, we are now minus 10 for the full cumulative season. So clearly, even if now September, which is now being forecasted to be normal, I think the whole season now, IMD is saying that will be below normal at around 93 to 94 percent of the normal. So yes, uh, the rural recovery which had started, I think uh, some of the green shoots which were there, I think there is a risk there. Uh, mm -hmm. But definitely what can overcome there is the election season. We have seen three, four days back, uh, the central government has uh, put in 200 rupee subsidy for the cylinder, gas cylinder. I would expect more such uh, programs, for example, Karnataka state election after that, the new government, they have come out with a 50,000 crore kind of stimulus program. So, yes, it's negative, but my sense is because uh, this is lower end consumption and government is trying to help the, help the farmer, the impact on FMCG will be a bit lower than some of the discretionary sector. So, we'll be selective here. So, we prefer companies where transformation is happening because of the new leadership. So, Colgate and Godrej consumer is something which we like. And uh, second theme is clearly Dabar and Imami, where the health and immunity portfolio is coming back. And finally, ITC and uh, Nestle, because there the rural exposure is lower. Uh, we would prefer also uh, media companies, so PVR, Sun TV, Z, we are quite positive. And also because of the cricket, the QSRs could see some sentimental benefit, some real benefit, but not a big benefit. But yeah, QSR stocks could also do well in the near term because of the cricket uh, season, which is coming up. All right, I was just going to ask you about ITC, but as you have said, Abnish, that you're quite positive on ITC, though the stock is down close to 12% from the recent peak. What about Titan? Now, there are various rumours with regard to deals on Titan, but the deal that they officially announced was on Carrot Lane. Uh, 
I mean, it was done at quite hefty valuations, but the street seems to have digested that. What's your view on the stock from your on? So in Q2, if you see, one thing is that all discretionary consumption will be impacted because of the Shraad and Adikma. So to that extent, Q2 numbers will be a bit weak for a lot of the jewelry companies. But my sense is, uh, as the marriage season comes back, uh, Titan should do well. On the carrot lane, clearly, uh, the acquisition is not at all expensive when seen from FY25, FY26 numbers. It makes a lot of sense. There will be synergy benefit further, more control. So I, I would remain positive on Titan in the discretionary space. Uh, Trent and Titan are the stocks where we are most positive. QSR is more of a tactical play just on the near term. Uh, and the dairy co cost also could come down. So that will be positive for Jubilant Foods from a margin perspective also. All right, we leave it at that. Abneesh, thanks a lot uh, for joining in. I appreciate your thoughts here on CNBC TV 18.